Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. This video will be taking a look at how to use Hugging Face Library to perform NLP tasks on the extracted emails that we've imported via IMAP in our last video. This video is the second part of the short series that aims to take a look at IMAP protocols and how to use them to extract emails and, and import these emails to, to then apply an NLP task in an our case, it will be a summarization algorithm. This video is divided into three main parts. First, we take a look at an overview of Hugging Face, the platform, and natural language processing. Then, we will look at the workflow and installation of the required libraries. Finally, we will take a look at the code. So what is natural language processing? Natural language processing or NLP refers to the branch of computer science and more specifically the branch of artificial intelligence or AI that is concerned with giving computers the ability to understand text and spoken words in the same way humans can. There are many different applications to natural language processing, some of which are machine translation such as Google Translate, text summarization, which uses NLP techniques to digest huge volumes of digital text and create summaries of the, um, the text at hand, virtual agents and chatbots, such as Apple's series and Amazon Alexa's, and sentiment analysis. In this video, we will be using Google Collab and as, our, as for our NLP platform, we will be using Hugging Face. But before we begin, what is Hugging Face? Hugging Face is a platform and a hub that specializes in natural language processing, or NLP, and AI. The platform encourages collaboration and sharing with AI community. And in it, you'll find a variety of models with more than 10,000 10,000 publicly available for different applications in natural language processing, computer vision, and other AI tasks. In our video, we won't build our own summarization model, but rather with the help of Hugging Face, we will be importing and using a pre-trained model to do the summarization task for us. And a pre-trained model is simply a deep learning model that has been trained on a large data set to accomplish a specific task. So the heavy lifting has been done for us. We just need to import the model and summarize the text. These models can be then further used as is or fine-tuned to fit an application that we might have. But in our case, we will not be training the model or fine-tuning it, we will just import the pre-trained model and using it to summarize the text for us of the body of the emails. But before we start, this video assumes that the viewer has some knowledge on machine learning or natural language processing concepts, such as what are uh, tokenization, some knowledge on some different parameters, such as maximum length or minimum length, etc. However, if you don't, I will try my best to give an overview of these concepts, but I won't dive deep into them, and maybe I will uh, do that in another video. So first things first, let's take a look at the basics of natural language processing. Natural language processing deals with the natural language, and usually that can come in the form of text. And text can be found in a corpus where a corpus is a collection of text documents for example it can be a data set that contains news a corpus consists of documents and documents comprise paragraphs and paragraphs are made up of sentences and sentences are further made up of smaller units which we will be calling tokens and tokens can either be words, phrases, or n-grams. And n-grams are defined as a group of n words combined together. Tokenizers are one of the core components of the natural language processing pipeline. 
because they serve one purpose, and it's to translate text into data that can be processed by models, which are numbers. Models can only process numbers, so tokenizers convert our text inputs into numerical data. Now that we have the basic idea of NLP and tokenization down, let's take a look at the flowchart of the code. In our last video, we imported the necessary libraries and connected to our emails. And we've loaded the emails and some information about the emails, such as the subject of the emails and the date of, of receiving those emails. In this video, we will also load the body of the email and first and foremost, convert that body, which is text, into a format that the model that has been already pre-trained into numbers through tokenization. Then after having our data ready for the model to produce the output for it we will put in we will subject that data into a summarization model that has been already pre-trained and get the output which is the summarized emails so without further ado let's jump to the code so to better understand what we have in the code, let's look at this flowchart. Uh, so in our last video, so in our last video, we went ahead and installed and imported all the necessary libraries. We've connected to our email using our app password. We've loaded the emails, but we've only loaded the from, the date, and the subject of those emails. Now, to load the body to better tokenize and summarize the body of those emails, we must first check if the email is multi-part or not. Multi-part emails are, as the name implies, are emails that contain multiple parts, each of which have its own content type, encoding, and other attributes. So if the message is multi-part, we will first look at each part of, we will walk through or loop through each part of that email since it has multiple parts, and check the content type of that part. If it is text or plain, then we will get that payload, we will get that text, and then decode that content into UTF-8. If, if, if that part is not text, then we will get at least the first part of the body, which might have some text in it, and decode that as well. If the email is not multi-part, then we will just get that context through get payload and decode it. After getting the payload, getting that content and decoding it into UTF-8 format, we will tokenize and summarize what we have to later on have the list of summarized emails to look at. So looking at our code, if we went ahead and printed the body as such, we get the following message. The body will not appear. Therefore, this does not work. And we have to find the message right after obtaining the messages from bytes and saving it into the message variable or object. We will check if it's multi-part. If it is in fact a multi-part email, then we will loop through each part, as we've said, check the content type. If the content is text or plain format, then we will get that content. If not, then we will get at least the first part of the body. If the message is not multi-part, we will just get that payload and decode that body into UTF-8 format. Now that we've understood how we can get the body, let's print. Let's print body and see what we get. As we can see, we can see that there are text messages being printed out, but we do not want this. We want to summarize the text that we are obtaining from our emails. Okay. So how can we do that? 
To do so, we will be using the Hugging Face library and we will be using the following model. And we can test the API over here. So now we can also test the model in our code. And that's exactly what I did. I went ahead and copied this and I've pasted it over here. And here we're just defining the summarizer using the pipeline. So we will be using Hugging Face Pipeline to use the model for inference. And inference means we're using it to get the result and output of the prediction. And in our case, we're using it for a summarization task. And this is the model that is in Hugging Face's library or hub. And it's for this person and it's called meeting summary. So this is just a way to call the model. And then you can pass this text which is in the example that is kept over here. And when we run that, we can see that we will be loading the model and then passing that text to the summarizer. And this is what we get as output. Okay, now we will be redefining the summarizer by adding by adding the variable tokenizer into the arguments of the pipeline, such that we are not just defining the model, but the tokenizer that will help convert the text into a format that the model can accept to produce the output of summarization. And we will be doing that by using the tokenizer from the same model through the use of O2 tokenizer. And you can see that this will generate the tokenizer or will load the tokenizer from the pre-trained model that we have just defined. And what's left is just to use this model on the body that we have extracted. So we can see to do so, we can just pass the body into the summarizer pipeline for it to take this input, pass it into the model and produce an output. And we've defined a few parameters over here. And then the result, which is going to be as shown over here, summary text, will then be saved into context summarized. And we will print that context summarized over here. I've just rearranged this a little bit so that we can print the subject, print the from, print the date, then get the context summarized. And I'll talk about the parameters over here in a few moments. We will print the content summarized and then save all of what we've extracted and summarized into a dictionary over here and append that dictionary into an array of summary of sent emails. Okay, now what are the parameters that we have over here? When the model is being trained, it's trained in batch and it's being trained in batched inputs. And those inputs are of a certain size. Therefore, for us to properly ensure that we are getting the most appropriate result and make sure that the uh, model is able to perform its job, we must make sure that the input size of the body of the email that we've just extracted uh, is of the same size that the model is originally trained upon. And this is done by specifying the maximum, the maximum length, which is 100, and the minimum length, which is 10. Now, the third variable over here is truncation. Truncation is used when the input of the of the uh, to the model, which is our body, is too large that it can't handle it. It will truncate the long sequences into the length that is accepted by the model. Let's just run this and see what we can get. So we got the subject. We got this is from YouTube, and I have a comment on circuit theory. This was on this date. 
and we get the following. A person called Kingsman has commented on the video circuit theory uh, in the lab. Then similarly, I get another, I'm going to stop this so that we can observe what we've just obtained. Then we get another email from uh, YouTube and it's someone else who has subscribed to you on YouTube. And this was the date and this is the summary. And if I can keep this running for a few moments. We can see that we've obtained multiple summarized emails. So I can just go ahead and print this list of dictionaries of each email. We can see that we get a dictionary of subject from date and email with the summary for each email. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. And if you found it useful, consider subscribing to my channel. Or if you'd like to support me, you can do so through Patreon, which you can find in the description below. This video is based off the Medium article that is linked in the description below. And you can also find the code in the description below. Stay tuned for the next video. And as always, thank you for watching.